Hey guys, my name is Zan Barksdale with Never Miss a Sign, and I want to say thank you for stopping by and checking out NeverMissAsign.com, the number one rated wristband software for baseball and softball signal wristbands. In this tutorial, we're going to give you an overview of how to use the software uh, for your team and, and, and basically tell you every single thing you need to know to start getting using NeverMissAsign.com. So with that said, uh, there's a lot to go over in this video. It's probably going to be about 10 minutes long, but it's important that you watch the entire thing if you want to know how to use the software correctly, or if you're thinking about buying it and you want to know exactly what you would get, uh, we want to watch the entire thing. So with that said, the screen we're on right now uh, is the login screen. When you, when you go to the homepage in the top right corner, it says login. Uh, it'll take you right here where the first thing we're going to do is we're going to enter our uh, username, which this is going to be NMAS demo. And then I'm going to click login. And that's going to take me straight to the generate page where I start generating wristbands. Uh, so if you notice right here, if we were to click play, there, there's a, a tutorial right here that's just for generating wristbands. This tutorial is going to be everything you need to know about the entire software. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down. Uh, to, to, again, we're on the generate page. We're in the membership software. This is where all the magic happens. So the first thing you'll see is it says generate wristbands and ask for a name. So we're going to go ahead and name our wristbands. This will be, uh, we'll call it how it works. Cause this is the, how it works video. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll remember that later when we're going to print off our wristbands, uh, to use for our game. The next thing it's going to ask us for is the color of the wristband we're going to use. Okay, uh, we, we have a lot of different options. We've got even more options in, in version 3.0 than we had before. Uh, and it even gives you a little preview over here so you can see. Uh, this is Twitter blue. Uh, we've got crimson. We, we, we have a purple color. Um, we have Carolina blue, uh, lime green. And I think we'll use lime green for the purposes of this demo. But there are a lot of colors so that you can customize your wristband with your team colors. Next, it's going to ask us for the grid size. Now, what the grid size is, the grid dictates how many different signals are on our wristbands. Okay, so the default grid size is a 5x5, five five, which gives us 150 boxes. But now, in Never Mess Assign 3.0, we can choose between a 3x3, 4x4, 5x5, or a 6x6. Now, a 6x6 grid uh, offers the most number of signs on a single wristband with 216 uh, or you can choose a three by three. Maybe you're coaching a youth team uh, and you don't need a ton of signs on there and, and you want them to be as big as possible and easy to read. Uh, you might only want 54 signs on your wristband, so you choose a three by three. For this demo, uh, we'll just go ahead and choose a six by six uh, so you can see what that looks like with a lot of signs on our card. Uh, the number of sets. This is going to be how many times it randomly shuffles the signs that we enter below and generates different wristbands. So if I choose one set, uh, th that would give me one different wristband, uh, or one different randomly shuffled set of signs. Now, if I wanted to have four different cards, or say three different sets uh, that I could switch between, let's say I want to use uh, one set on a Friday, one set on a Saturday, and one set on a Sunday of a series, I can do that with three different sets. Now, Note, if you have 10 players on your team, you don't need 10 sets of wristbands. You only need one set of wristband, and you need to print 10 copies of it. Okay, so again, the number of sets dictates how many different wristbands uh, are, are going to be generated based on the signs you enter below. So we'll go ahead and start entering signs, and for this demo, we'll just use defensive, we'll use pitch calling, um, to go ahead and get started and see how that looks. The default symbol is FBA for fastball away. And you'll notice we added something over here, uh, a box that lets us choose if we want to highlight this cell or not. We can choose yellow, blue, orange, lime green, purple, or pink. Okay, so I'm not going to highlight a fastball away, uh, but if, if I want to highlight an individual cell to put an emphasis on a particular play, now I can do that and never miss a sign 3.0. Uh, to add new signs, I'm going to click the green button over here with the plus sign, and you'll see the next, bu the next box pops up. Uh, I'm going to change this to FBI for a fastball in. Uh, I'm not going to highlight this one either, but I'm going to add another sign. Uh, let's say 
We'll go slider. We'll call slider SL. I'm not going to highlight this. Well, I'll tell you what, I will highlight the slider. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll highlight the slider in pink, okay, just so you can see. And again, we have different colors that we can use. Uh, let's say for some reason I have, a, I have a box down here or an extra sign and I want to delete it. I don't need it. I can always click on the red box that has the minus button and you'll see it disappear just like that. Uh, but again, I'm going to add a few more just for this demo, just so you kind of understand how it works. And again, you can use as many signs as you want or as few signs as you want. That's one of the neat things about Never Miss a Sign. It's completely up to you and completely customizable uh, to your team. So if I have a sign that I don't think needs to appear on the wristband very often, let's say pick off play number one. We'll call it, we'll call it P1, okay? We'll write uh, pick off... Pickoff play number one. Okay, uh, let's say I don't need this very often. I'm going to highlight this one too, just so you see. We'll highlight this in yellow. But there's a slider down here, um, and you notice underneath it shows me about how many times this sign is going to show up on our wristband. I don't need pickoff play number one to show up 54 times, which is the same as all my other pitches. So I'm going to move the slider to the left, and then you'll notice uh, it's going to show up much. Uh, much less frequently. So it's going to show up 6.54% of the time or about 14 times total. So for the, the signs that you use infrequently, I'd suggest moving the slider down. Uh, so another sign that, that I wouldn't need very many of, we'll call it a pitch out. We'll call it uh, PO. I'm not going to highlight it, but I am going to move the slider down uh, so that I only get it a few times on my card. Um, and I'm going to add one more sign. Uh, let's say, let's say our guy throws a knuckleball. Okay. We'll call it KB. Okay. And I'll highlight this one in blue, just so you can see. So again, if we go back up, you can see on a few of them, I've moved the slider around to change the number of times it shows up on the card. Uh, I've highlighted a few different ones. Knuckleball is going to be highlighted in blue. Uh, pickoff play number one is going to be highlighted in yellow and our sliders can be highlighted in pink. So again, there's a few new features uh, that are never miss assigned 3.0 that haven't been in the previous versions. Uh, so it's a little bit different, but it's also a very similar look uh, as before. So what I'll do next is I'll go ahead and click the submit button and this will take us to the manage page. Now in the manage page, all the wristbands that we've generated are going to show up right here. Now I, I ran a test earlier uh, it's called Never Miss a Sign 3.0 Test Number 2. Uh, right here you can see it. And this is the one we just generated called How It Works. Okay, now beside our wristband or beside our signal set, there's going to be three different buttons. Okay, Open is the button we would take to print off our wristbands when we're ready to use them for a game or a practice. Edit is the button I would click. That will take me straight back to the Generate page. And I can, I can change the signs. I can change the colors. I can edit the wristband any way I want to. Or if it's a, maybe it's a wristband from last year's season I'm not going to use anymore, I can click delete uh, and get rid of it and delete it from my database. Now, once you delete it from your database, it's gone for good. So make sure uh, that, that if, you, if you press delete, you really don't need it anymore. So again, for this tutorial, uh, we'll go ahead and click open so we can look at the player wristband uh, and the coach wristband. Uh, I'll slide down here. Um, and, and, and you'll notice a couple things. We can manually enter the height and width of the wristband to fit in our wrist coaches. And if you notice over here on the right, there's a new picture, a new image. Uh, now at Never Miss a Sign, we sell the wristbands in six different colors. We have black, navy, green, orange, red, and white. So if you want to buy a youth or adult wristband, you can buy them by clicking uh, right here. Again, there's two different sizes uh, and six different colors. Uh, another thing you'll notice over here, one of the most requested features that people wanted us to add was being able to print multiple player cards per sheet. Uh, so people were using a lot of paper if they were using it for the entire team. Um, now you can print off multiple player cards on one sheet of paper. And, and the number of player cards that print per page is determined by the size of your card. Okay, So if we have a really large card, which I don't think anybody's going to have one that's 4 by 6 uh, 
Uh, but, but imagine we did. You see this number changes down here to two. And again, four by six would be really big. That would be really large. Uh, I don't think there's any wristbands that would fit a card that big. Uh, but you see it only fits two of them per page. Okay, so but if I wanted to go back up here and change it to a much smaller size, uh, let's say the width is 2.75 and the height is 1.9, okay, that's going to print three per page. Uh, so again, the fewer, the smaller the wristbands that we use, um, it will be able to print more per page. And the larger the wristband, we'll be able to print fewer, but we can definitely print more than one per page now. Now, again, we have two options here. We can download the player card, or we can download the coach's sheet. Uh, we'll go ahead and download the player card first so that we can take a look at that. Um, and it'll download pretty quickly. It usually takes uh, between 5 and 10 seconds, uh, and then it'll pop right up here. So it'll open, um, and you notice we printed uh, a couple of them right here. Uh, it's lime green. That's what we, that's what we went to earlier. And notice we had highlighted some of the cells. Uh, we had a sli highlighted slider in pink. Uh, the pickoff play number one was in yellow and the knuckleball was in blue. So again, this is a bright wristband, uh, it makes it easy for your players to see. Um, and, and, you know, we have a lot of neat colors and, and it makes it, makes it easy. So, uh, we'll go ahead and go back to the manage page and download the coaches sheet, uh, which looks very similar to coaches sheets in the past. Uh, it has a never miss sign logo at top. It has the legend of all the, all the signals on this card, uh, at the top of the page. And then it has the title of it, how it works, and then all the individual codes, uh, below. So if you remember our pickoff play number one and our pitch out, we moved the slider to the left because we didn't need very many of those. And you can see that represented here where there's a lot more fastballs, sliders, and knuckleballs uh, than pickoffs and pitch outs. So again, this is a general overview of how to use Never Miss a Sign version 3.0. If you do have additional questions, feel free to go to the contact page, send me an email. Uh, if there's something I didn't cover, if you still have questions, uh, I'll be happy to answer anything I can and get you started using Never Miss a Sign uh, so that your team doesn't miss any signs anymore.